Oh, where to start? <laughs> Let's begin at the perceived beginning within our earthly minds right now. But just be aware that behind all this talk of beginning dimension, there really is not one. But I will call this the seed dimension. Seed is fitting for me to explain and guide you towards a more visual understanding as an elven soul. And to those who are following my channel closely and getting an alignment with nature around them and within. Like a seed from a plant, it contains all the particles and energy that will produce the experience of a plant later on as it is planted into the soil. The zero dimension is a seed reality. It is the place where you are before space is experienced as matter and time moves. Every single soul on earth and throughout the universe have been in the seed dimension countless times already. When you die and your consciousness leaves the body to enter into the immaterial or spiritual realm, you enter back into this zero dimension of reality. In physics, the zero point is the difference between the lowest possible energy that a quantum mechanical system may have and the minimum energy of the system. It is the state of rest and the place where spiritualists and religious people have placed the before state of the Big Bang of God. And after the seven days of creation, he rested once again, going back to zero point of energy. This within the Bible is all a metaphor to understand the nature of energetic states of rest at zero point. It is a place where awakened humans and extra dimensional entities are in touch with from higher realms to allow other souls in lower dimensions to know everything in the end will be just fine. Not a just fine in that there are inconsistencies or imperfections that are just left alone, but a fine as in total equality, truth, and resolution of all injustices are done. Because as all souls go back to their state of rest, all ego is dissolved and only love is left. Realization and love is done at this point in the zero dimension when all souls are gathered back to each other and know they belong to one another. This is why NDE, near-death experiences, are often felt within this light and love energy. Because it is your soul releasing from the ego of this world and realizing your true connection to all things within the cosmos. The most wonderful thing is that you can access this dimension inside of you while in the physical. It will be hard to stay there as you experience the illusion of separation from other souls around you. But when you look to nature and within yourself, you can easily transport yourself to this place again and again. One day you will be able to live out a physical life with this dimension always remembered. This is the state of the great spirit that the Native Americans could understand, and the Wiccans and natural white witches could use nature as a channel to get back to the seed dimension. The Palladians live their lives in touch and in tune with this dimension, and is why they even wish to involve themselves in humanity in the first place. They know and understand this deeper connection to all souls felt from the zero dimension. What I can tell you the zero dimension looks like is an inky darkness that is a void and yet is not void at all. It contains a sentient mind of yours, and it is warm and full of love and abundance of energy, wishing to know itself as all the light it truly contains. In the next dimension of one is when the light starts to radiate outwards and starts to physically relate to the chakra system of light and awareness. This zero dimension actually has points within the void, that open up in infinite directions like a sunflower opens its petals. Inside you, you have this dimension as you close your eyes during meditation or sleeping at night. It is a warm, enfolding feeling of peaceful rest. No more troubles, worries, or earthly problems are here while in this inky darkness of total peace and silence. Within this dimension is an omniescence that is an energy that knows all things that will be and will become. It is a place of Akashic records or heavenly book or records. It is a dimension where we as a collective have stored all the blueprints of the galaxies and celestial bodies within it. All blueprints of souls, soul types, and archetypes that will be experienced within the collective and recognized within one another is there. 
All animals and plants and ways they are mirrors to us is thought up here. All conflicts and arguments, wars and galactic battles are designed here in advance, only to experience the love that will eventually triumph and stop them. There is a general theme or story that is set out for all life to thrive in the best way possible and eventually come back home to rest when ready. Music, sacred geometry, and the laws of physics for each universe is designed here. Themes, moral, universal truths, and awakening moments are designed here. You and I are both designed here to become later in unique points of reference for source. Our bodies are imagined, flaws and assets that will help the collective and aid the journey of the soul. Our predispositions, such as zodiac signs, life path numbers, Meyer Briggs personalities, demeanors, vocal sound and pitch, frequency we operate life on, vibrations we come into the physical world with, are all designed here. You are part of the conscious and awakened collective that resides in zero dimension, waiting to experience all that is. Here is where all souls plant their seeds of experience to have. Knowing full well that you will experience both the pain and the suffering to make this reality real to you. But you are equipped always with the ability to move beyond this pain and suffering by remembering your true immortal self that resides within the zero dimension, the seed dimension. The following exercises will begin your journey of the zero dimension of reality within you. I suggest writing your answers down in a journal so you can refer to them in the future, or just listen to them and think deeply. Number one, try to be aware of yourself right now. Close your eyes and just allow yourself to just sit with your thoughts. What are they telling you? What are you experiencing? The idea of an empty mind of Buddhism is not about having a brain without thoughts. It is about going beyond those thoughts and recognizing them for what they really are as you float into the space of releasing them. Write down all the things you feel in resistance to the information right now I gave you and there being at zero dimension within. Number two. If you can access the zero or C dimension, then what are you feeling as you do? Write some descriptive words that help you describe your experience with this dimension of reality within. Number three. I want you to think about if your life was in this constant state of omniscience and how you would live it. What would you personally do with this information and how would life be different for you? What kind of choices would you make? Brainstorm ideas of what it would be like to walk around in this dimension of space. Number four. Make a list right now of ways you can be more aware and in touch with the zero dimension daily. What are some ways you can set aside time to experience this feeling of absolute peace and a state of rest within? How can you discover the equilibrium within yourself more? I have faith in you to be able to. Write as many new daily life goals for yourself right now that you can start to experience. Okay, this concludes our lesson two. Class dismissed. I will see you for lesson three.